Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu and I'm here for day three of the summer 2019 treasure hunt. Uh, we've only got one show today, as far as I know. It is... Oh boy. Uh, there are some names for this. It is Uchi Musume, or Uchinoko, or Uchinoko no Tame Naraba, Ore wa Moshikashitara Mao Mo Taosuru Kamo Shiranai. I, it's a really long light novel title. Um, which I think translates to, if it's for my daughter, I would even defeat a demon lord? Holy shit, I nailed it. Okay. Um, this is a new show. It's airing. It's, it's our, our dad fantasy isekai? I'm not sure if it's an isekai or just, like, straight fantasy. Um, dad daughter fantasy. Now, we had one of these already. It was, it was Mausama, and it was pretty mediocre. Uh, Mausama retry. It was pretty mediocre. This one looks like it might be a little bit better. Um, I don't know why I get that vibe, but just like the the art and the 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 happy go lucky feeling that it seems to be giving off reminds me quite a bit of, if anything, it reminds me quite a bit of Isekai Shokudo, which is um, a show that doesn't have super great production or anything like that, but has a lot of heart, and which I genuinely fell in love with and binged all of and wished that I had recorded reactions to because that would have been fun. But uh, that's what it kind of reminds me of, and I'd be happy with that. So here's hoping for straightforward, relatively quality fantasy with a lot of heart. Uh, or isekai, I'm not sure, again. So this is a show by, and it actually took a little bit of, of digging to find out who was producing this, because Mal doesn't have the listing yet. This is by Maho Film, uh, a small studio that only has in their backlog second key animation on different shows. They did second key on The Promised Neverland, the first season of Attack on Titan, and the recent Carol and Tuesday. They have no solo productions under their belt. This will be their first. Um, in the director's chair is Takeyuki Yanase who has directed a couple of things and has been animation and episode director on an immense number of projects. Um, episode six of Tex Textalize, like a bunch of, a bunch of things all across the gamut of, of quality and esteem and stuff like that. But, uh, it seems like he knows what he's doing and he's also done key animation and animation direction on a lot of stuff. I think the, the biggest standout name for me in the staff is the person doing script and series composition, who is Takao Yoshioka, who did the same thing, script and series composition, and series composition is like in between um, author and director, so figuring out how events in a manga or a light novel or something like that line up with screen time and, and things like that. Um, did that on the first six episodes of Elfin Lied, High School D DxD, Ikitosen Major, Seasons 1, 2, and 5, Sekirei, and Your Lie in April. So that's, that's a pretty good number, and there are a whole bunch more that he's done another work on. Um, but that's sort of a, a wide range of shows. A lot of them, High School DxD and Ikitosen, uh, and Sekirei, I think, are pretty fan service heavy, sort of comedy fun, cute stuff shows. So... A show like this, I'm expecting that we'll see some of those comedy chops uh, brought in and, and brought to the fore and brought to bear. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to find out. So, without further ado, let's do that. I've got episode one of... Uh, what, do we, what do we want to call this? The version that I downloaded from Nya uh, listed as Uchi Musume, but since the title is Uchi no Ko no Tame na blah 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 blah, Maybe we'll go with Uchinoko as like a shortened thing. What do you think of that? Uchinoko? One word, Uchinoko? Yeah, sure. So let's watch Uchinoko episode one. I've got it up. It's ready to go. It's zero seconds. There will be multiple versions of this reaction video. You can find picture in picture versions with the video inset up over there in the description down over there. Time based version on YouTube will be up as usual. It's what you're watching right now. If you're hearing me say this, it'll have discussion at the end and a beep beep timer at the beginning to sync up with your own version if that's what you want to do. And that beep beep timer will go right here. Those are goofy.
adventure. Mm. That didn't seem super helpful. Is it the waifu girl or the daughter root girl? It's the daughter root girl. And she's a devil? Demon? Horned beast? Hobby Japan. And I think Chirolu is the original author. Okay. Well, I know why we're watching this show. She's cute. Cute little daughter. -oo. This looks like a mid 2000s PA work show. Looks like Charlotte, except less. Because <laughs> Charlotte's actually really, really well produced. I wish they had gone with a little bit of a, a weightier line work. Oh, it's Attack on Titan, or uh, Konosuba, or literally any isekai world with a, a walled-in city. Young man and the little girl meet. Okay. Food? You want a fishy? <laughs> Infernal. Hmm. It's got a passing knowledge of Infernal, or he rolled really high. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think she'll figure it out. <laughs> She's really cute. Fuck. <laughs> hmm. I stay. Mm. Dying.
Oh my. Father. Damn. Yep, you gotta be a good, good dad. Making a grave. Okay, so she understands death. I wonder what she's actually speaking. Hi, Dale. Town. So, how do people feel about demons in this world? Are they cool with that? That'd be cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So people are like, she's a devil. Huh? All right. Seeing the world for the first time. Tavern scene. Karage. So I think this is going to be home base. Oh. <laughs> Bath time.
<laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, Harden Adventure is blushing. Food, food, food. Can you get a little cushion for you? Yeah. Oh, this is too cute. Hmm? Razor is my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hot, spicy, or hot, 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 hot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Emergency. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Covers up the horns, yeah. Smart. The magic food man. He brings you food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be jealous, Dad. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, nobody's coming for her. All she has is you. Time to become a father. Hmm. <laughs> Catch you some cute little shoes. Find a tailor. Get some some dresses. Some clothes. Nice. Some apples. Cause tasty snacks. Nice. Oh, she likes apples because she just ate apples. Or is that a... Oh, she got an orange. Or a tangerine.
Mm hmm. You have a b live in babysitter. She's imprinted. <laughs> you are my mother. Nice. Okay, this was pretty fun. A um, few things about it. I really appreciate that it's not an isekai. That it just is a straightforward fantasy series set in a JRPG-esque fantasy realm. With its own rules and stuff, and it's, it's not an isekai. We have characters who are entirely familiar with this world, who have lived in it for a long time. Fantastic. I felt like the character introductions were all very fluid and natural, meeting... Um, uh, Kynes or Crines or whatever, whatever the, the, the cook guy's name is. And, uh, Mira, I want to say Rita, Rita, uh, something like that. Um, the girl, all very, very fluid and, and solid. Uh, pretty obviously the big draw of this show is Latina, the cute, super, super cute devil daughter. -oo. She's cute. It it works. Um, the character designs are pretty simplistic for for easy ease of animation, and as I said, uh, the design sense looks like it's out of five years ago, um, maybe more. Actually, quite a bit more, M more like ten years ago. Uh, it looks like your mid to late two thousand shows. Yeah, hell, even earlier than that. Um, and I think that the reason for that is is pretty apparent they're they're a new studio this is their first uh their first show that they are solo production doing as a solo production and so the difficulty has to be reduced it has to be it has to be lower and so the the bar here is relatively low do they make the girl cute i think they do i think she's pretty cute i i teed a few times during this episode i was like Wee! Um, did they make Dale likable? Yeah, he's, he's pretty bland right now, but he seems like a good guy. This world seems very wholesome, uh, does not seem dark or twisty or anything. It just seems like a wholesome father daughter story in an isekai world. I'm sorry, sorry. I See, see what I'm doing? Look at me. Uh, in a fantasy world. Great. Great. Um, backgrounds and stuff are bland, uh... Blend and generic, but they, they serve their purpose, I think. 
I think they, they set the scene. Uh, it's... Is it is it great? No, no, of course not. Is it bad? Absolutely not. I I don't think by any stretch of the imagination. This is this is watchable, enjoyable. Um, I don't know if it'll be super interesting, but it'll be wholesome and and full of fun vibes. I I quite like her character, uh, although she doesn't have much of one right now. I I like where she can go. I, I, I like this magic system that they've got. It seems to be applicable to a lot of things, but we're never told explicitly in a world where there's magic and you can use it by speaking demon tongue. It's all it's all pretty fluidly exposited. Um, things like he's one of the best adventures in the city are all pretty fluidly uh, pretty fluidly put together. And we get a, a pretty good idea of the way people in this world feel about devils, not too bad, but the whole outcast broken horn thing might be an issue, so worth covering that up. Cool, good to know. Um, everybody's pretty pretty generally accepting and seems pretty cool. Like those guys in the tavern, none of them gave, gave Latina the stink eye or anything, like, ugh, fucking devil. No, they're all like, who's that? Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> exactly what we feel, right? So, perfect, great. Um, again, character designs aren't, aren't crazy intricate or anything, but they serve their purpose, uh, perfectly well. And I think the, the animation and general production doesn't have any flubs or, or faults that I can really fault it for. It does have some pretty bland backgrounds. Um, these, these sort of blandish digitally backgrounds are, are okay. Um, but that's, that's fine. It, it, it's fine. It works. It works. The the lighting, you know, like the the characters don't have multiple layers of of shadow on them. They just have simple shadows, um, or like edge lighting or or any of the the crazy stuff you see in like a any show. This is this is simple. This is this is simple, relatively old school, straightforward father daughter story. That's about it. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for me too. I'm gonna wrap it up. I've been Tibu. This has been. Uchinoko is what I'm going with. Uh, we'll see what it actually ends up being called. Uchinoko episode one. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I had a pretty good time. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow in whatever airs tomorrow. I think it's a lot. I want to say that a lot of things air tomorrow. Uh, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah, Uchinoko is July 4th. And then on the 5th is the new Joshikaze no Muda guy and then Dr. Stone. Okay. Cool. So, not a lot a lot, but a couple of big shows. Cool. Well, anyway, I'll catch you there. Peace.